Hello guys and welcome back to one more video in my channel. Houston, we have a problem. We have a big, big, big problem. As you can see, I went to some places and then I ended up in Primark as well. So, it's a menace Primark at this time of the year because that's when they begin to have like all the cool winter stuff and it, become, it becomes so irresistible that you just feel like you have to buy it everything you know I controlled myself the best I could but still this is bigger than me so I got a few bits of course I have some things from other stores uh, but first I'm going to show you everything I got from Primark and then I'm going to show you all the other bits I got from other stores like Pepco that's one of the new ones that opened here in Lisbon and everyone is very very excited uh, there wasn't much because you know it opened like a week ago and I only went today and there wasn't much because most of the uh, products and everything were already gone and there's a lot of Christmas stuff already uh, I got one Christmas thing that I'm going to show you that is the cutest thing ever and then I went to normal that's when I got nothing interesting honestly but I'm going to show you anyways just in case you are interested and then I went to a kids store and I'm going to show you that it's called Zippy I don't know if there is a lot around the world but I think in Europe there is plenty so yeah I'm going to show you everything so starting with Primark let's there was a lot of irresistible things like there was a lot of like sweaters and cozy knits and everything and there was loads of like colors and everything but I tried to be as simple as possible and I tried to consider the fact that in like a month, a month and a half I'm already going to have my baby and I'm probably not going to be this you know bulky anymore at least the belly and everything I'm going to be it for a while of course but probably I will you know reduce a bit in size so the things that I bought fit now they're tight but they fit now but they will be good for after the baby is born so I'm going to show you so I got this very very cool like they say it's like that is 50% polyester that is recycled and it's like a top color I don't know if you can see it very well it's like this um, brown you know but it's not like chocolate brown it's not like light brown it's very very cool brown um, yeah and it's not very long which doesn't fit me very well it's right at my hip line so it's quite cool I got it in a small because they are quite oversized look at this they are quite oversized you know um, and it was 15 euros so I got this one which I'm very excited and it's very very soft see the material is very 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 soft and then I got the same but in this gray color that again the same type of material see and is very very cool this this color as well yeah got it in a small as well and I think it will look good then I got another thing that is a dupe I know I know is a dupe but I don't care because the color is marvelous look um, the hug boots dupe inside 38 because you know 38 that is a 5 UK so yeah that's my size it was 80 euros you know it has the fur inside anyway it's the same as the hug boots you know nice and thick so you know and this color it's brown but it's like a muted brown like grayish brown which is a new color and they also had it in uh, like military green 
and then they had on the normal colors you know gray black and that camel brown so but yeah but i like these the best i don't know if i'm going to wear them a lot at home i'm probably going to wear them you know with those knits you know with both of them they look like pretty cool you know even with the gray ones look cool with the brown one obviously it looks cool and you know around here when i'm walking with my baby and everything and you know easy comfortable warm that's all we want that's all we want and then i got also these slouchy cozy socks so this one is in lilac i don't know if you can actually see it it's lilac and then this one it's white and it has like lilac speckles i don't know if you can see it i don't know if you can focus but yeah but he has like lilac speckles around here see it here yeah so around the socks because and i'm going to show you on a, uh, another video all the stuff that I already got for my maternity bag, you know, for, for me to go to the hospital and everything. And um, I have purple stuff, purple, lilac stuff, and I have some uh, white and blue that will look good with either of these socks. And they're very, very cozy. You know, it doesn't need to be like super warm, but cozy, you know? But yeah. And then, let me see, from Primark, that was it and then I got from Primark for me that was it and then I got of course <gasps> something for baby I mean look at this it's the cutest thing ever look it says best little kid and he has like a little you know fur inside so it's quite good and he's like you know normal brown and the letters are in green and I got it three to six months that is 68 centimeters um, because I don't know I have the impression of that my kid is going to be well not this big but yeah it's going to be big you know a big baby uh, but even if he's not when he's three four five months whatever it's still going to be cold because he's around you know March April so yeah so another one for his collection so I think that if from Primark that was it so now I'm going to go to ah I also got this sweater from another store that is called New Yorker I don't know if there is a lot out there here in Portugal there is plenty and they have quite cool stuff you know like they have things that are not very normal in stores you know like when you go to Zara, H&M, um, Primark, whatever, and they all have like similar styles. Yeah, when you go to this store, yeah, you have simple stuff like the one I bought, of course, but you have like very, very cool and different and, you know, for all sorts and for all types and, you know, you have like more gothic stuff, you have more like hip hop, you know, that kind of vibe as well. You know, you have things with a lot of print, you have things with no print, you have, you know, uh, things for you to dress up like very, very nicely. You have things with, you know, a lot of bling, a lot of, you know, both for, my, for men and for women. So you have a lot and they have everything. So, but I just, I was looking for sweaters, you know, something that, I don't know if I'm going to need loads of them, but I think I needed some simple things um to add to my winter closet especially now that i'm going to be you know having babies and having babies well just one just one just one but yeah having a baby and everything and i need everything you know to actually look good but you know but for me not to spend a lot of time thinking about Oh, this matches this and this looks good with this and nah, nah, nah. but i want to look good for myself to feel good with myself it makes sense right um because of i i don't know i believe that mental health is very very important and if i feel good about myself you know my kid will feel it as well so you know i'm just saying probably i'm just rambling but you know what i'm saying so i got this knit that is very very cool it has a v-neck it has these things that i hate by the way but yeah but it has a v-neck and 
as you can see, is the same type of material than the Primark one. See? But it's a v-neck. On Primark, they had a very similar color, probably a bit lighter than this, on the other sweater, the other sweater model. So, I just wanted to show you this because it's very similar. See? You know, here, here is very similar. Um, the only thing that is different actually is the the neck that is a v-neck and they didn't have any v-necks on, on Primark Actually these ones that I got the gray one and the brown one were actually the only ones that were not high neck or like that Middle neck there or the super high neck because I cannot wear high necks. I hate high necks I don't know what they're from you know, but the itch just to look at them. I'm warm. I'm itchy I feel claustrophobic. I don't like them, you know, nothing against people that like them. You know, my sister loves it But I don't know. I just feel like suffocating just looking at it. So yeah, so I got this one and Again small because they're very large well, they're not very large, but they're like oversized, you know? I didn't thought it was needed for me to upsize. Uh, so yeah, you got it in a small and it was $16.99. It was a bit more pricier than the ones from Primark that were 15 So yeah, so I got this one. This was the only thing that I actually got from New Yorker. Uh, my sister got a lot. Got a lot. I have to admit, she got everything. No, I'm joking. I went to Pepco and normal. So Pepco, it's, I'm not even sure what kind, but I think they have it in America as well. And it's supposed to be like a kind of like, you know, a supermarket, but like not a big one for, you know, candies and different types of um, crackers and cookies and you know biscuits and whatever and drinks and all that and then it has own stuff and then it has clothing which is not the best part of the store I have to admit we went there just because we were curious it's not a question that is basic it's actually not very basic because there was there's a lot of things for kids more than for adults but I think that the quality is not the best but it's not the worst of course I'm just you know generally speaking what I think, you know, probably I'm, I'm wrong. I'm just saying for what I saw on that store today, it was not the best. Uh, probably on, you know, probably when it was the inauguration, probably they had very cool stuff and now that was a bit, and um, yeah. And it didn't have a lot of, you know, different kinds of cookies and all that, and didn't have a lot of different types of candy, um, you know, because we, me and my sister, we were looking at the videos that they were posting online on TikTok and everything about, you know, the inauguration and all that. And they had a lot of stuff that today they didn't, you know, and it was only, I know, I'm saying one week now. It opened like two weeks ago. Yeah. But yeah, but it was full of people. I wanted to record everything, you know, that I just went to, you know, all the stores and all that, that. But there was so much people everywhere. I don't know what really is wrong with the people. You know, probably they had the same idea as me. Like, uh, you know, I'm just going to have like a browse. There were so many people. You know, my sister had to walk in front of me like with our arms like this. You know, just to get people away from my belly. Because it makes me a lot of... I don't know, it makes me... I don't know, I don't like to be in a place where there is a lot of people just because I know that I will not fit there because, you know, I have this huge belly. I mean, obviously I don't move as fast, I cannot, you know, be as slick and just walk through tiny spaces like I used to do before. But yeah, and so my sister was like, you know, like my bodyguard, like, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. But yeah, but it was cool. Uh, at least one good thing about being pregnant is that I'm always on priority. So, you know, even if the, the queue is like three meters long, if I go there, I'm like, yeah, priority. Not that I do that a lot, you know, I actually ask, you know, do you have priority? No, 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 you know, like, I don't know. Obviously they have to, but, you know, I, I just think that is a bit more nice than just go there and be, listen, I'm pregnant, there's my stuff, just, oh, I just want to pay for it. Yeah, rambling again, see? So, I'm going to get the other bag. 
this is one of the supermarket ones. We just put everything in here. So, what I got from there, that I know that it's probably going to sound weird for a lot of people that are not from Portugal or that are not around from the area that are this, but when I say that I cannot find these things anywhere, I cannot. In supermarkets, hypermarkets, uh, extra markets, whatever you want to call it, in every store, I cannot find these anywhere. At least around me or where I go. Probably in Lisbon there are, you know, Lisbon like center center. Probably on other places in Portugal there are, but here where I live, no. So I got salt and vinegar Pringles. It's not exactly the Pringle itself, but it's the salt and vinegar part. That I got addicted when I went to the UK. I got addicted to salt and vinegar chips, salt and vinegar crisps. I don't know. I, there is something about salt and vinegar that I just adore. So, on Pepco they had, you know, these Pringles that are like the big can. It was two fifty. I know, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. But I'm also not going to eat this all, you know, in one go. Because even though I love it, they are a bit acid, so you know you have to be careful with these things, especially you know me being pregnant. But yeah, but salt and vinegar. Listen, I'm even my mouth is watering just to think about salt and vinegar crisp. So yeah, so I got this, and then another thing that I just found there. Right? Yeah, I'm. They're party rings! I used to eat these a lot in the UK as well because they're actually this, the, the only, you know, they were cheap there. Here they're not. They're 2 euros, which is like, oh, well, equivalent to a pound and a half, maybe. Uh, but yeah, but 2 euros for us is expensive, for us here in Portugal, right? But they were the only kind of like cookie that I would eat even this says is ice shortcake but it's fine um, that I would eat in the UK because they were kind of the only ones that didn't have any milk or anything like that it was just like the cookie and the, you know very simple cookie and then the um, how is this called the the bit on top I don't know how this is called let me see the icing thing ah Jesus yes so yeah I used to eat these a lot I learned with the kids that I used to work with um, they used to eat these as well and I thought oh my god those are very cool cookies and one of them just gave me one and I was like okay this is interesting uh, they're very sweet and sometimes I'm craving for something sweet and I'm always like trying not to get like something that is like very chocolatey or very high in sugar and all that and these are actually no artificial flavors no artificial colors and no artificial preservatives so it's not a bad cookie but it gets me nostalgic and another thing that gets me nostalgic not exactly from this brand but the same type of gummies jelly babies if there's something that screams UK to me are jelly babies and party rings I got these jelly babies it was 150 I think 125 Something around that because they're arable. Um, they're not exactly the same as the ones that I used to get in the UK because we don't have those brands here. I don't know why. Don't ask. I don't know. I wish I didn't know. If I try to order it like from Amazon or something like that, it's like extremely expensive. So sometimes I just ask my friends that go there or that live there or whatever when they come just to get me some because jelly babies come on jelly babies is the best the best babies no the best gummies in the world the best babies is kind of creepy um but yeah jelly babies and then what did i got more ah this is very basic i know but i was just in the mood for um but the thing about this there are banana chips the thing about this is, those these are salty. These are not the sweet ones. These are the salty ones. And it's very, very hard for us. And I'm going to say it again. Probably on the place where I live. 
around the place I live, it's very hard to find salt banana chips because most of them are actually sweet. And another thing that I remember that it was from the UK, it was not banana chips, it was plantain. But they had like different flavors of chips, like plantain chips. They were amazing. They were like some that were lime and something that I used to eat loads of those. They were amazing. And then there was one that was sweet chili. And then there were plain ones. And yeah, I used to have it like down the road from where I live in Birmingham. But yeah, you know, at least this is similar. It's not similar because plantain is less sweet and banana but you know they're from the same family so I was quite happy and it was I think one euro it was not more than that so and then the piece de resistance is the only thing that I bought that is Christmas related and with you because I'm so proud I mean look Look, it's the cutest thing ever. Look, he has like the eyelashes and he has a bow and he has like tiny, tiny hands and he's very, very cute. He's like, he's so cute. And he's quite like a big size. Look at this. And he's so cute. And it was four euros. There's three pounds for a mug. I mean, you can get cheaper ones for sure but not like Christmas or you know season editions you know the special editions you cannot get this cheap here I'm sorry you can't I don't know why I don't know if I'm going to the wrong places probably I am but it's practically impossible for you to get like a mug this cool this cute for four euros I mean, but yeah, I'm very, very happy. And then the last place that I went, it was normal. And, oh wait, there's another thing that I got from Pepco. Yeah, there was like vitamin C, not very interesting, I know. But it was three euros, I mean, it's quite cheap. So yeah, so in the last places that I went, it was normal. That I got something very interesting, like I said, like, yeah. I needed some new ones for my Oral-B toothbrush, the electric one. So I needed some new ones, so yeah, it was $9.95, which is quite a good price because, you know, I only needed two. I didn't want to go and buy those multi-packs because I'm only one person, you know, and I think that two are enough because you only have to change this like every six months, I think. So, uh, for example, I know it's not very interesting. Colgate, you know, the this is the ble is bleaching one and is against you know black and whatever you know all the bad things that you can have in your mouth. And it was one fifty, and I know that this usually here costs a lot, around two something, sometimes three if you go to very specific types of Colgate. So one fifty for me, I think that is cheap. And then I got my makeup fix spray. This one is my favorite one from the entire world. I don't care what people say. It's from Bifast. Uh, this one is actually $2.75. Uh, it's vegan. It's big. And it lasts the entire day. Listen, I walked out of my house at 10.20. And this is me by the end of the day. I still have makeup on. My face is cool. I don't look like I'm tired. You know, it didn't break out anywhere. I'm not like super mega shining. It's amazing. You know, I still notice that you, I have a bit of bronzer. Bear in mind, I didn't do like this huge makeup look. Very simple. I put some shine here. I put some bronzer here on my face. You know, just in certain places, you know, I have concealer on and I have mascara. But this is amazing. 275 for 150 milliliters of fixing spray. I mean, and then I got one thing that I, I used to use this a lot, 
a couple of months ago and I li really like the way it made my hair. Uh, that is uh, Hair Protox from Cannabis. Interesting, right? And this brand is called, it has a very weird name if you translate it to Portuguese, Kalos. Kalos in Portuguese is like those things that you get on your feet. Um, they are very, very hard. I don't know how to say it in, in English. This is stupid. It just fails me the word now. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. Those very disgusting things that sometimes happen to your feet, you know, the hard bits. Yeah. But yeah, it's not the same, of course. It's just the name of the brand. It's not written the same way. It's just we just read the same way which is quite stupid probably probably you have a specific way of saying this or not but yeah so these are 275 milliliters of a hair mask that is a uh, hair protox so it's like very very uh good for your hair it makes it very thick and you know and very i don't know how to explain it like it's like thick and strong and everything this has hemp seed oil well, of course, cannabis, uh, keratin, and a vitamin complex. So, and this is fantastic. I swear by this. And this little bottle of 275 milliliters that you use, usually the size of the ones that we get in the supermarket, it was 150. And then, this is probably a bit of TMI, but yeah, this is my intimate gel. The one that I absolutely love, that is from Herbal Care, also vegan also non-tested on animals because i always research those things uh, that one is also a non-tested on animals of course so this one is i know this is written in a very weird language but it's very a very calming one very neutral one and then the last thing that i got that is something that you already saw on my channel a lot of things a lot of a lot of things that a lot of times I have the big size of this. This is the concealer from Revolution, the concealer, the fine one, like this one. Can you see? Probably not because of the light. Yeah. But yeah, it's the C3 that it touched my color. Um, I have the big one and I wanted to get another super sized one, so I couldn't find it, so I got this one. You know, this was not cheap, this was 5 euros. I got a promotion for the super sized one, it was the same price as the little one. Like, but this, but it's like the double this one. But yeah, but I just thought when I'm going to order anything from anywhere, I don't know if I'm going to find it somewhere else. The super size one, not the tiny one. The tiny one is very easy to find. So I just thought I might as, might as well get it because I don't know how my life is going to be in a couple of months now. You know, it's very, very uncertain. It's not that I'm going to be stuck at home and I cannot go anywhere and... No, I'm just saying, probably my priorities will be other priorities. And this is my favorite concealer of them all. And from ZP, um, there is that baby store that I told you. I got, I know this is not very interesting for a lot of people, but I don't care. You don't know how hard it is to find a pillow like this. This is a baby pillow. This is breathable. I'm sorry, someone fainted there. This is breathable. This is, you know, anti-suffocation. And is the size of my pillowcases. Because you have no idea how difficult it is to find a pillow like this for your baby that fits the pillowcases of the things that you bought. Of all the beautiful beautiful things that you bought so yeah guys that was a huge splurge if you take everything like separately and then you put it together it's a big splurge um but you know most of the things that i got are actually other than the sweets i know other than the sweets are very useful are day-to-day -day things you know you're going to have the cost per wear you're going to actually use them. I actually needed most of them, you know, all these toiletry bits and all that. I actually needed the vitamin things. I, I actually needed it. Probably I didn't need so many, you know, knits or whatever, you know, but why not? Why can't I just pamper myself once in a while, right? Just saying. Um, yeah, and probably my kid didn't need another, probably my child didn't need another sweater. Or probably I had time to buy some. But, you know, when I see some things and then I was like, Poor baby, you know, I'm not, I'm not buying anything for him. And it was, it was, it was sad. 
I'm just saying, you know, now I just feel like, you know, I buy something for me and I have to buy something for baby. Makes sense, right? I like to share with him, you know, he deserves it. Even though he kicked me a lot. <laughs> but I, I think that he's cute. So, yeah, so this is all I got from all the places that I just mentioned. And yeah, it was a big splurge, you know, nothing special. Uh, I just wanted to show you because, you know, I just, you know, I personally, is one thing that I love to see is what other people buy. I don't know. It's kind of something that I actually like to see, you know, what did you get from Primark? What did you get from whatever, you know, in, and to know stores that I never heard about. And then I go Google them and then probably some are actually here in Portugal or probably some are not. And then when I go to other countries, I go to those stores because I'm curious. Um, so yeah, so I hope you liked this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.